Hi guys, this is Heather with Yafe Henna, and today I am going to do a tutorial for you guys about um, how to do my popular uh, unicorn design, and also to give you um, one or two tips on how to improve your speed when you're face painting, because that is very important, particularly if you own your own business um, doing face painting, you really want to be able to get quick with your designs um, so that you're not taking 20 minutes on one child, you know, because believe it or not, parents get annoyed with that. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Um, so I'm going to use um, this kind of cute fluorescent pink color. I'm going to have to hold my mirror up so I can see here. Um, and well, I guess I'll do this, this cheek. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and spray um, spray my colors here. And I'm going to use kind of a medium pointed brush. You can see that there. Okay, so, um, probably first and foremost, the biggest tip that I have for anyone who's doing face painting for a living is when you're doing your designs, always do hopefully you guys can see this, always do the base color of the design first. And what I mean by base color is it's the color that you are going to see the most in the design. So in this case, it's going to be the body color of the horse. So I did the head. I'm going to do the neck here. Got to fill it in as best as I can here. And I'm going to do the ears. And I'm just going to use the, the, that nice pointy edge of my brush to do the ears like so. Okay. Bring that neck a little bit. Okay. So there is the base. That's the base of our horse. So that's the first thing that we're going to do is the silhouette um, or body of the horse. So the next thing that we're going to do is the mane. Um, Spray my white here. And I use the way that I um, wet my uh, paints is by a little uh, spray bottle with water. And that just keeps me from constantly mucking up my, um, my paints here. Okay. Let's see if I can get it here. Okay. So, next thing that we're going to do is the main. So, I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to do some little short strokes. Sorry, hopefully you guys can see this. I can't really tell, but I'm going to do the mane going all the way down, down the neck there. And then I'm going to bring the mane to the front, and this is called um, the forelock on a horse, this little bang area. And that just kind of gives it a cute little, cute little extra touch there. Okay, so we're almost done. This design goes really, really quickly. Um, if you follow this, this um, kind of basic design rule here. Ooh, sorry, that's my my two month old. He's keeping me company, so you'll have to excuse the little the little squeaks. Okay, so then, whoops, dropped one of my paints. Um, good thing I'm done with that one. So, okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do the black. And the black, if you're using black in any design, always do the black last because it's easier. See, he agrees. It's easier to do black, or rather a dark shade over a light shade, than to try to go in and do a light shade within a dark, um, a darker color. Okay, so first we're going to do the eyeball. Then we're going to do the, I really hope you guys can see. Um, then we're going to do the nostril here. And then the mouth. And then I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go ahead and outline it. Um, and I've been I've been drawing horses for a very long time. I understand that horses are a tough thing for any artist to do. So um, you know, just practice, 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 practice. Anything that you're doing in art. You're only going to get better with practice. So I'm doing the inside of the ear there to kind of shade it. 
and outline the cute little ears. And then the last thing that I'm going to do here with the paint is I'm going to kind of add some accents. Um, not necessarily outlining the whole mane, but just kind of giving it some definition, giving it some flow so it looks like the mane is flowing in the wind. And then we're going to go ahead and do the forelock there. And then the last thing is going to be some glitter. And I pretty much have never had a little girl tell me that she doesn't want glitter. Um, I'm going to use, this is um, just some loose cosmetic glitter. Um, and you want to make sure that you use the cosmetic glitter because it is made specifically for skin. You don't want to use craft glitter or anything like that. And I'm just kind of dab it on. One thing that I did learn with this, you can apply it with a brush, but what I'm doing is I'm just lightly, lightly dabbing it using my finger in the jar. And I'm just lightly, lightly dabbing it on and just trying to get good coverage. I have accidentally put my finger in and gotten too much and then glo you know, globbed it on thinking that it would spread out. Once you put glitter on wet paint, it's going to stay where you put it, which is good and bad. It's bad if, you're, um, if you accidentally put too much on because then you can't spread it out. You just have a big old glob of glitter. Um, so anyway, that is how I do, oh, I forgot the unicorn's horn. Whoops. So anyway, yeah, so, but you can actually, you can leave it like this, and you just have a cute little pink pony, um, which, you know, most little girls love ponies. Um, but I'm going to go ahead, since I told you that I was going to make a unicorn, I'm going to make it a unicorn really quick. Right, clean this out. Okay. So real quick, we'll just do a horn. So I'm just going to pick a spot here. You can use yellow, you can use gold. I'm just using my yellow really quick, but I do have a gold that I use a lot. Um, or you can even use kind of an orange color. So I've got the horn, and I'm going to go ahead and, I know, I'm going to go ahead and outline the horn. And then that is all you need for the unicorn. And a lot of times, too, I'll, I'll put a little bit of uh, gold glitter on onto that horn there just to kind of spice it up a little bit. But anyway, so there is how I do my unicorn. And just a, a couple little tips for um, improving your speed. So do the base color first, and always outline if you're going to use black, use it last. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. You have an awesome day. I'll talk to you later.